Hey, what's going on folks? This is Dimitri back again in this video. We're going to check out how to and why you should buy a house this year, next year and keep going. <laughs> so this is going to be a, a, the basically a developing a bull case on how you can keep going with investment, even though the craziness is going on in the market today. So with that, let's say and yeah, let's go get it. So like and subscribe down below as is highly appreciated and we wanted to continue to grow as a channel so thank you guys again for upfront to doing that but that's here we go so what do you need to know what do you need to do to start investing in real estate so if you're completely new completely out of the scope what is going on and what is life <laughs> so here we're discussing the real estate investments investments and uh, what why you should buy the real estate and things like that so in this video we're checking out real estate investing why you should buy it today and keep buying it all right so uh well first of all right so i kind of well i was hoping for the, to do another video but as i'm um um as i as i'm thinking about to do this video right now this is basically what i wanted to share with you how i started to do that but uh, again with the scope of um why i'm buying it and how to buy it it's it's a lot actually it's a lot in the same video so we're going to go through the steps on how to do it so and um in this in this case so first of all just let's jump right into it right so in this in this in the first step you actually need to determine why you want to buy real estate why well, and you know determine the scope to determine the reason right most of the time and i like this uh statement that um is being done i don't know if you guys know it but it's not a reference or anything i don't get um any uh cash back or cut back <laughs> from that uh, but um, i like the statement of uh, nine to five for a millionaire uh there's a gentleman in from chicago i believe and he also invests in real estate so and what i liked about it he keeps the money in the in the bricks <laughs> so to speak and i like that statement so and um i actually took it to, took it to my heart as well because of the the money management that um i watched the video about and it was kind of interesting how our money being managed by the banks but i don't know if it's true or not but i like when my money is in the in the brick and <laughs> so to speak and then we are can uh, partake from it so anyway that's kind of a side note but um which i've got a video do a video as well for that one so but anyway to do and buy real estate so uh, we are going to be uh, need to determine how monthly budget is going to take us to buy a house usually usually what i uh, recommend um, to my friends and family and whatever whoever uh, comes my way uh, on the, in, in the sense of uh, how to buy real estate you need to determine the scope of how much monthly payments you can afford right so usually usually uh, it's a really nice place to start with you with your um monthly payments on uh, your rental right so um, it's it's basic good determination on, on, on how and how much you can basically afford really at this moment of time so and so it's it's a lot of good options out there so you can uh, research for um, outdated housing outdated uh, places uh, to live uh, not in the sense like to change your lifestyle or anything but as we jumping into real estate investing so we basically putting this mindset of real estate investing right into the beginning of our dealing with real estate investment right from the bat right from the foundation so to speak so and um even with this first deal i was coming in with the investment mindset and we were able to afford uh, a monthly payment for the in, the in my specific area in maryland right so i was able to do that and then I was able to find a place where I can live in with the same, um, so, somewhat same um, monthly payment. And um, so basically, right, obviously, as um, you will uh, experience and with the talks and all throughout this process, you will, you will hear about the monthly payments, you will hear about uh, principal and interest. If you are in real estate already, like uh, swimming in, in this, in this, in this topics, you heard this a lot. And um, and that's pretty, pretty much how it gets divided like a mortgage uh, type of principle so but uh, first step and the big step is to determine uh, how much you can afford and a simple way to do it is like hey i'm paying my monthly payment in rental so 
that's pretty much i'm good with it and for whatever like you know i'm, I'm okay with that but it's obviously it's a change so in your life because you need to be moving and <laughs> pretty soon as well it depends on how fast you find the property and things like that but more or less within six months i would say that's it's a possibility you know so and there's that but um as you determine that right then uh it's a good spot it's a good place to you know okay so you kind of settle down on this you you got your man, mind mindset on this so then you can start search for a property you don't need necessarily call agent and like hey let's go all the way through which is fine you know if you have a real estate agent uh in friend or family you know but again um you need to check them out it's not like um you know every agent is great even though if he's your or he, he or she is your family friend or whatever so um it's business and uh, as much as i love my friend and family nearby me but um again so obviously as uh, you growing in experience so you just check them out see how they respond see how they communicate with you is it taking them long to respond is it taking them um, you know necessarily kind of strange situation like or oh, they don't follow up or like you know they don't respond like you know just common every day to day kind of situation hey is this happening is this not happening is this all right or whatever so then you go and then you determine you know if you go keep working with them or not but you can also uh, obviously uh, go check with Zillow, Redfin, whichever uh, search engine you use uh, for the properties and it's not sponsoring anything just again saying that we're just throwing it out there you can uh, determine uh, and schedule a showing with the real estate agents so see how they react see how they communicate is they just like you know go ahead and look for it or they communicate with you they trying to see what's going on they they talkative you know they communicate so you know like interpersonal uh, communication is highly important is because um you know it's basically yeah it's 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 basically a business deal right but you you need to get into that mindset so uh then obviously as you start uh for real estate um as uh, buyers or like agents it's uh important that you gonna be um a proper buyer so to speak you know so uh as being a real estate agent in the past i um i completely understand <laughs> when uh sometimes happens and real estate agent you know they work with you but then uh, the client is not actually buying anything. They're just like they're searching, they're browsing, and all that. So, um, and just to be in the in the in the camp for a little bit for real estate agents, they they, it's it's not interesting for them, you know, because um, you know it's as long even though like you good buddies and everything in the business world, um, they don't want to really waste your waste their time as well as yours and all that. But uh, because you know you just want to be productive and keep going and you know you do business so the reason i'm saying that is because they would love to see the pre-approval letter from the mortgage agent because pre-approval letter allows them you know to have that assurance of uh your serious buyer right so that you are going for it and then you are okay with it and things like that so obviously we have um uh, um social social security credit man no, blinked out on that one uh social security um credit score not social security credit score i'm sorry and um that's pretty much what it comes to mind so uh, i believe i should have said it right at the beginning but it's, it's still good to say that um you need to get your credit score in check uh obviously um it's gonna be it's not gonna be you know 740 i believe 760 is fine um but 740 is okay so uh lower than that it's gonna be uh somewhere uh not problematic but it's just gonna be higher interest rate a little bit so it's not like a problem or anything so now and then as you're getting rates and things like that you, you start processing so the things are getting rolled so right now and uh, then you will be asked to determine what's going on in the market and how you need to get there and what where your specs are and things like that so it's good to have a complete picture in your mind what do you want how many bathrooms how many bathroom bathtubs and things like that 
uh, how many bedrooms and kitchen whatever whatever so uh, it's good to have because a real estate agent will be sending you pictures and will be sending you houses that's going to be fitting your description things like that but you also can also search for the houses that you fit it's also helpful i believe i think it's good it's helpful for the real estate agent to have that two-way communication that they see okay so you see their property so they see the specs they see what is what is looking for what you're looking for things like that so but again as a, in the real estate investor mindset you gotta have that understanding that you know you don't need to be buying uh, a clean house spanking new everything in you because you're gonna be overpaying so some of the stuff uh, not because you know it's, it's better in anything but uh there's the other side and the other side also wants to make money that the seller and things like that so um some of them they most of them they are prepping the house and they don't sell those um you basically going to be um uh, competing with the general market and things like that so uh what i always say from the perspective of real estate investor if you want to go and be successful in that uh you got to be looking for uh houses that are outdated and uh, need a um, TLC, so to speak, uh, care, lunder, love and tender and everything like that so that you can renovate, bring value into those, right? Because that's where you gonna bring the value up and cost or the sale cost and the, the price of the house up. So everything, all that is very, uh, is very, that's, that's the place where it's actually really relevant for you as a real estate investor, getting and buying those things right so uh, those houses that's basically what i'm looking at that's where i'm coming from that's where my always mindset okay so if i buying a property what's the location obviously i need a lo good location i need a obviously to in distressed house so not super just depending on the amount and the bill and the, my current amount of uh, money that i have in the project and like what i can do i can uh whatever renovate the miners like as Time goes by and like more accumulation of the more money comes in um, I can do heavier projects or lesser as time progresses and depending on the project but that's basically what you would be looking for as a third step you need to understand hey I think it's the first step I think it's fourth or third <laughs> you need to determine that then um, as you talk about and I think I just to mention it uh, real quickly how to find and get the pre-approval letter talk with the real estate agent again that you need one and they will connect you with a good uh, mortgage agent and then you can work with them continually so there you go and yeah that's pretty much it the search continues you found the house you find the one and then what is important sign the offer letter hit that hit that guy and then go for it and then you go through the process and uh, yeah so if you have questions so like personally i had a lot of questions and like i completely was blanking on the on the, how the deal is getting, getting processed and uh, shout out to my real estate agent uh she was great and uh, i will link her i think uh, i don't know if she knows <laughs> knows about it or not but i will link her um connection here that i work with her and um in the down below but uh, she worked me through like she was pa she patiently worked with me throughout the, the whole deal and as well as the mortgage agents and everything like that. So um, they are amazing, but at the same time, at the very first deal that I was doing, man, it was crazy. And uh, I didn't know squat and then I just wanted to, you know, I, I like I was completely blind as a squirrel and I was just being led by, hey, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And then as the get process got processed i know okay you know what so we nailed it <laughs> finally and then that's where i got it. so i hope you guys enjoyed this video man it was a little bit lengthy and um it was a little bit uh chaotic but again just to wrap it up first you determine the scope and how much money you can utilize to pay that usually it's a good good way to replace your rental with them with the with the house to live in because that becomes your war chest because your tool where you can utilize that later and now and now how i can explain and the, the the my strategy that i used how i used it later on in the future videos so second step find real estate agent 
uh, because like somehow you can go through Zillow, through Redfin or through your friends or families, you definitely will find one. <laughs> if you didn't find one, go to the open houses in your area and you will definitely find one. So, and um, there's that. And the third step, I think you're getting, you're getting pre-approval letter from the uh, from your mortgage, from, from the future, your new mortgage agent, uh, or whatever, whoever you got, if, if you got a friends and family again, mortgage agent, get your approval letter, then the house search begins, the understanding it begins and everything like that. So then you go through the process, hit that offer letter, give that offer letter and, and all the way through. So work with your agent, what do you do? What do you want and things like that that they will they they are the best of your the best best of the best uh like uh, re representing you so to speak so anyway that's pretty much what it is and why you should buy it well because in any case you can and the, here's the nugget of all the video of all this entire video why can you why do you want to buy it and why you need to buy well because you can always refinance that's one two uh it's a property it's gonna accumulate wealth as time goes by so it always appreciate three um yeah it's just a property because you gotta buy it <laughs> it's, oh third one as long as it works and the numbers buy it you know don't buy it if you don't have money so because it's gonna be it's gonna be a wrecking ball so therefore here you go so if numbers work if because it's a property and because over time of accumulation of wealth so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe down below uh, my name is Dimitri and I am out. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.